Thanks. Hey, say hi. Hey. Yo, Cavs. Ten dollars. We got group rate too. Woo. Ten dollars. Six your pictures. Ten dollars. All right, we're live here. Uh, oh, this is Brian Engelman with the New American Media and the Unhappy Hour Sports Show, and we're gonna might have to change that name coming up soon. What's up, Greg? Time. Um, we're out here I, just just to show you. Here you go. Wait, what, what do we got? Tons of people. This is ju- this is just at like eight a.m. So there's a lot more people coming. Yeah. So what were you saying? So this is just at eight a.m. Oh, introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Michael Conroy. I'm from Cleveland. It's eight a.m. right now, and uh, this is just the beginning of what's about to happen today. It's it's going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely crazy, and you know you can't help going to these events. We just a few minutes ago saw bomb sniffing dogs walking around, and you see gatherings of people, and it reminds you what happened at the Boston Marathon. The game plan is make a destination point with your friends and family in case something were to happen. Be aware of your surroundings in case something is out of line, someone drops off a backpack and walks away. You know, you got to pay attention to these things. It's 2016 and any idiot can become internet famous. You know, hey, the devil gets free advertising these days. So just be aware of your surroundings. Set up a destination point where if something bad were to happen, you know, hey, we're going to meet here, and if we can't meet here, here's our secondary meeting location. Because in the middle of this chaos, all you're going to have is landmarks. So pick something in advance. Don't wait until something happens. Just make sure you have it handled. Um, real quick thoughts on the series. Um, your thoughts on the Cavaliers oh, coming back from I mean, 3-1 deficit? When, you know, when they went down 3-1, uh, you know, I, I made the jump a little bit, but I was saying, you know, they can make history now when they come back. And, and they did it. They, they, made, they made history that will be in the books forever. It's yeah, and, and, and that is the truth. You know, it, it, it took a king to break a legendary curse, and that's really what it was. I, I saw somebody walking by a minute ago. I'll show you this flyer. It was a T-shirt that said, uh, 23 is greater than 73. Greatness is defined in June. And this Warrior team, they got cocky. They Draymond kept hitting and kicking people in the nuts. Uh, I, I mean, you know, the, the owner talking about how nobody could ever assemble a team as good as theirs. It's, it, you know, everything about this team was was just set up for, well, here we go again. You know, Cleveland sports, have a great season, have LeBron James, but you got to run into this juggernaut warrior team. Good season, close but no cigar. But this year, something was different. This year, it was our time. We were champions. It's a man's game. You're right, Greg. Um, you know, but, but basically, we had LeBron James and they didn't. And Draymond Green getting suspended was the right decision. You can't run around kicking and punching people in the nuts. You got to be. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Um, you know, but the, the Cavs earned it. Kyrie Stone Cold three pointer earned it. LeBron James. I, I mean, nobody has ever in the history of sports come back from a three one series deficit to win an NBA Finals. Nobody here. Let me get get people walking in the background. Nobody has ever led in points, assists, rebounds, steals, and blocks on both teams in the NBA Finals before. Guess who did? LeBron James. Greatest of all time? Hey, you got to start wondering that. Jordan never did that. Kobe never did that. Shaq never did that. Something you've never seen. Um, but, hey, this this means the world to everybody from Cleveland. You know, the what, what do we hear? The mistake by the leg and all the jokes. And, you know, it gets tired trying to defend yourself. And, and it, it, it just... It gets real tiresome having to constantly defend your city and where you're from because it really becomes an attack on your manhood. Yeah. And, hey, LeBron James came back. We made it happen. It's a great day. We're going to give you some more videos as we go, but I just want to kind of check in and just make sure when you're in any big surrounding, whether it's a concert or a music event, a parade, a marathon, whatever the case may be, just have a plan in place. Be aware of your surroundings. And that, that really applies anywhere you're at. Just be aware of what's happening. And in case bad things happen, always have a plan in place. So, signing out for the New American Media, Brian Engelman and... Uh, have fun and be safe. Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. To be continued.